Well, while I wait for parts for the Roadmaster wagon, I figured I'd dive into one of my other non-running projects. This this is a, a little 97 Ford Ranger. Bought it in non-running condition, just like the wagon. Uh, tried to start it when it was for sale, and the fuel pump wasn't kicking on. So I figured I'd Pull the bed off of it, which was very easy, six bolts and a couple of couple of guys, and uh, pulled the sending unit assembly out, and it was completely rusted. It was rusted so bad that the float fell off of it and was sitting in the tank. That's what's left of the float. That's what's left of the of the uh, fuel sock. And I want to show you this gas stunk in this thing. I want to show you exactly what happens to gas that sits in vehicles that don't do much driving. You can see how green. This is actually diluted. It was it was probably even worse. I stuck two gallons of gas in this thing because the fuel gauge read empty for obvious reasons because the fuel gauge or the uh, float was off of it. So I stuck two gallons of fresh gas in here, and this this old gas is still green, and it smells like shit. So you know, if you guys let your car sit, store it with high octane gas and a full tank of high octane gas. Less of a chance of condensation getting in there and rusting everything up. Fortunately, this is a plastic tank. And uh, I pulled the tank. I'm going to drain this gas out of here, clean the tank. I bought a brand new sending unit and pump for it, and I'm going to show you that in a second. This is uh, the cool part about this truck. Don't mind the colors, but it has a fuel injected 5 liter in it with the 5 speed. It's a crate motor. I have all the statistics in the house. I believe it's a 300 horse. 5 liter engine. So, this is another vehicle I hope to have running soon because I already have all the parts. I just have to put it back together. So, I'll shoot a video on that too once I get it running. So, thought I'd make a quick video on the latest non running project. The Ford this is the first Ford I've ever owned. I used, to, I used to work at a Ford dealership, so I know how to work on these things. It's not very difficult at all. It's probably the, the easiest sending unit to pull out uh, that I've done, at least. So, uh, should have it together soon. And uh, let me run over to the garage, show you the new and the old, the new and the old uh, sending unit. I got all sorts of issues. That car needs tires. Check out this tire, it's got a broken belt. Good tread, well, sort of. And then the broken belt made the tire out of balance. I drove it for a while and it wore a spot right in the area that had the broken belt. All right. Here's the old sending unit from the Ranger. Fuel sock fell off. Fuel float, the float fell off. This resistor's bad. I had it plugged in and the gauge doesn't even work. All the connectors are corroded. The pump is seized. I pulled these connectors off here and, and hooked 12 volt, 12 volt battery right up to it and the pump didn't even work. So, bought a new one. 100 bucks, not bad. So, I was going to put a high volume fuel pump on it, but since it's just a, you know, I read up, I figured you just need a high volume pump if you have turbo or a supercharger. So, I bought a fuel pump that came out of a 4 liter, or which is for a 4 liter Ranger, so that should be fine. This was a 4 cylinder pump and it still fed that 302 just fine, because that was a 4 cylinder truck. So, this pump is easy enough to pull apart, take out if I wanted to ever swap it out. So I'll be dropping that in as soon as I clean out that old gas and uh, 
I'll shoot a video of me starting it for the first time, but that truck's been sitting seven or eight years. That Roadmaster wagon's been sitting three or four years, so these should be some pretty interesting old start videos. And these are the parts. Old Opti Spark for the Buick. I have a brand new one in the house. Came from Jags. New water pump ready to go on. I have all the gaskets. All the gaskets. All the seals I destroyed. Trying to put that water pump seal on. So uh, I posted a video of uh, of the issues I was having. As you saw, I bought this seal installation tool. And in my next video, I'll show you exactly how this works. But I got myself another seal, direct through GM. And I will use that little aluminum tool to install it. Hopefully, uh, next time I'm filming, either one of these vehicles will be very close to starting.